Yehezekiel chapter 17. And the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of Adam, put forth a riddle, and speak a parable to the house of Yisrael, and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, A great eagle, with great wings and long pinions, full of feathers, which had diverse colors, came to Labav came to Lebanon and took the top of the cedar. He cropped off the topmost of the young twigs thereof and carried it to a land of traffic. He set it in a city of merchants. He took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruitful soil. He placed it beside many waters. He set it as a willow tree, and it grew, and became a spreading vine of low stature, whose branches turned toward him, and the roots thereof were under him. So it became a vine, and brought forth branches, and shot forth sprigs. There was also another great eagle, with great wings and many feathers, and behold, this vine did bend its roots toward him, and shot forth its branches toward him from the beds of its plantation, that he might water it. It was planted in a good soil by many waters, that it might bring forth branches, and that it might bear fruit, that it might be a goodly vine. Say thou, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Shall it prosper? Shall he not pull up the roots thereof, and cut off the fruit thereof, that it may wither, that all its fresh springing leaves may wither, and not by a strong arm or much people can it be raised from the roots thereof? Yea, behold, being planted, shall it prosper? Shall it not utterly wither? When the east wind toucheth it, it shall wither in the beds where it grew. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Say now to the rebellious house, Know ye not what these things mean? Tell them, Behold, the king of Babel came to Jerusalem and took the king thereof, and the princes thereof, and brought them to him, to Barvel, and he took of the seed royal, and made a covenant with him. He also brought him under an oath, and took away the mighty of the land, that the kingdom might be base, low, that it might not lift itself up, but that by keeping his covenant it might stand. But he rebelled against him in sending his ambassadors into Mithraim, Egypt, that they might give him horses and much people. Shall he prosper? Shall he escape that doeth such things? Shall he break the covenant and yet escape? As I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, surely in the place where the king dwelleth, that made him king, whose oath he despised, and whose covenant he broke, even with him in the midst of Babel, shall he die. Neither shall Paro with his mighty army and great company help him in the war, when they cast up mounds and build forts to cut off many souls. For he hath despised the oath by breaking the covenant, and behold, he had given his he had given his hand, and yet hath done all these things. He shall not escape. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh: As I live, surely my oath that he despised, and my covenant that he hath broken. I will even bring it upon his own head, and I will spread my net upon him, 
and he shall be taken in my snare, and I will bring him to Babel, and will enter into judgment with him there for his trespass, that he hath trespassed against me and all his fugitives in all his bands shall fall by the sword, and they that remain shall be scattered toward every wind, and ye shall know that I Yahweh, have spoken it. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also take of the lofty top of the cedar, and I will set it, I will crop off from the topmost of its young twigs a tender one, and I will plant it, upon a high and lofty mountain. In the mountain of the height of Yishrael will I plant it, and, I, and it shall bring forth boughs, and bear fruit, and be a goodly cedar, and under it shall dwell all birds of every wing. In the shade of the branches thereof shall they dwell, and all the trees of the field shall know that I have brought down the high tree, have exalted the low tree, have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree to flourish. I uh, have spoken and have done it.